Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Kid Common Interest out here today bringing you guys another tutorial inside of Native Instruments Machine. I recently got a request from someone who needed help learning the basic functions of Machine so you can get the ball rolling and start making some dope beats. So without further ado, that was a long ass intro. Let's get things started. <laughs> Let's head over to Group B. And group B is where I have this beautiful lush chord progression going on. So let's give it a listen. Nice, beautiful four bar chord progression going on right there. I like it, but I want to add more to it. So I'm going to head over to group A. And group A is usually where I have all my drum sounds loaded up. So every pad that you see that's highlighted, there's a sound loaded up. Pad 1 isn't highlighted. And pad 1 is usually where I keep my kick drum. So I'm going to select pad 1, head over to the, my sample library. Just make sure you click on the sample icon right here. Click all samples. I'm going to click machine. Drum, since I'm looking for a drum. Kick drum. And the sub menu. And you can either select the kick by clicking once on it to preview it, double click it to actually load it onto the pad. But who wants to do that? Why not go over to the controller, press browse, and just press the next or previous buttons to preview your sounds. I already see the kick that I want. Kick Ikea, kick Ikea, whatever you want to call it. I call it kick Iki. Kick Iki. Kick Iki, Ikea, whatever. Load. <laughs> Nice, it's loaded up. Now what I want to do is create a four bar loop that's equivalent to the four bar loop I have going on in group B. So I'm going to go over to my controller, press the setup button. You can either twist the knob right here to four bars or you can press this double button. I'm not going to twist my knob because my knob is so janky. So I'm just going to press double. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Bam, four bar loop. Press controller again to exit out of that view. All right, so now that I have all my drums loaded up and a pattern created, I want to start recording these sounds into this pattern. To get started recording, I'm going to hold shift and press play to activate my metronome while I'm recording. And I also want to have a pre count to go along with that. So I'm going to hold shift and press record to have my pre count come in before I record. Here I go. As you can see, some of my drums aren't coming in completely on time with the metronome. Everything kind of sounds jumbled up. They're off time. To correct that problem, I'm going to hold shift, press pad number five, which is quantize, and it's going to quantize every sound in the group. Here we go. Now everything should sound on time. Let's give it a listen. sounding good to me okay now I want to add a little variation maybe I want to have a different pattern to add different patterns you go over to pattern and I'm going to duplicate this pattern that I have already so I'm going to hold duplicate tap pad one which has pattern one on it and then copy it over to pattern two so now I have that same pattern on pad two you can also duplicate patterns by going over to this menu right here and pressing duplicate by right clicking. You can duplicate that pattern. I already duplicated it. To add that pattern to another scene, you go up to your scenes, press the plus button right here, and you can go over the, to this menu again. And put pattern two in there. 
also want to have that same melody that I have going on in group B. So I'm going to go over to this one and put in pattern one. So I want to add a little variation to these drums. So maybe I'm going to take out all my hi-hats and rides by selecting them all and pressing shift clear to delete all my selected sounds. Let's give it a listen. All right, let's give it a, both patterns a listen. I hope you guys can see how you can make various patterns within different scenes to make an entire song. What have we covered in this video? We've covered recording, loading up sounds, creating scenes, creating new patterns. And I threw a couple of shortcuts in there as well. Now what? Now it's time to make some dope beats. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below and let me know in the comments below what videos you would like to see next. As always, stay tuned for more vids to come in the future. Peace.